I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It's just wonderful to be with you again on the show. And we've got Snowy with us today. My dear friend, I want to speak to you about success, uh, be, about being a successful person in your life. Let's go straight to the book of Joshua, just after the book of Deuteronomy, Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8. This is what the Bible says. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but, shall, but you shall meditate in it day and night, that you might observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then, now listen to this, folks. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. There it is. A successful man is a man of God. A successful man or woman is a person who governs their lives according to this book. This is the compass of life. How many times have you heard me say that? This is the book. Everything is in this book. Everything you need to know. About bringing up children, it's in this book. That's right. About doing successful business, it's in this book. Everything you need to know about life is in this book. Because this is the book of life. This is the Bible. That's why you'll never see me without this book. I take it everywhere I go. Folks, what does the Bible mean to you? Do you read it every day? No? Why not? How can you start going on a journey when you don't have a map? This is the map. This is your compass. This tells you north, south, east, and west. This book. This book tells us when to buy cattle, when to sell cattle. That's right, it does. When to plant maize and when to plant beans. This book tells us a fair day's work for a fair day's pay. This book tells us to love our wives, to submit to our husbands, to respect our elders. This book. This book tells us not to antagonize our children. This is the book. And when you detract from this book, you have no success and you will not prosper. Folks, I'm telling you the truth. You can't use half of the book and disregard the other half. It's either all or nothing. This book says you may not be unevenly yoked. See? What does that mean, Angus? It means that you cannot marry a non-believer. Why? Is God being spiteful? No. He loves you. You see, it's like me getting two horses, Snowy and another horse, and we pull a cart. Snowy decides to go that way. The other horse decides to go that way. That cart's not going anywhere. In fact, it's going to turn over and hurt us. You cannot be unevenly yoked. You cannot do business with an unbeliever. I'm talking about a partnership. Why? Because it'll start off well, but it won't end well. You see what will happen? When the business starts succeeding, and you say, I want to take a portion of our profits, and I want to sow it into the kingdom of God. In fact, 10% belongs to God anyway. And he'll say, not with my money you won't. Here's your problem, starting. You want to give your staff some time off at Christmas, because it's a time that we remember the birth of Jesus. He says, I don't believe in Jesus. We're working right through Christmas. There's your problem. You marry that man, and you say, no, I'll, conver I'll convert him. And he, on Sunday, you say, let's go to church. And he says, no, I don't want to go to church. There's your problem. And then when the children come along, it gets even worse. I want to tell you, start to work according to this book, and you will not only be successful, but you will be extremely prosperous in every aspect of your life. Until next time, remember, he loves you, and he will never give up on you. Goodbye.